Good evening everyone and welcome back to the channel. We're going to be continuing from where we left off last time by beginning a rock and a hard place. Without further ado, let's get underway. So that's Runok, head of Cole's base of operations. That's right. I also managed to piece together more about her. One thing doesn't track. She moves like a Mando, fights like she's been trained by the best, but I couldn't find a clan affiliation. I'm certain she's one of us, but it's strange. Whatever she is, people follow her. Years back, she ran a small team of outcasts for a while. They became her inner circle. This group was responsible for several raids against both Republic and Imperial interests. She owes nothing to either side. In fact, looking at her targets and the chaos she left behind, it goes much deeper than gathering resources. She understands that reputation is more effective than a blaster. I agree. But this doesn't fit. She has proven to be careful and meticulous. What else did you learn? She's gone to great lengths to hide her location. False trails, dead contacts, and now runic. The planet is in the middle of some kind of electrostatic storm. Messes with communication and navigation. Prime location for a hideout. After the ambush on the Spirit of Vengeance, she's been busy Seems building up her forces, them. applying pressure, and making the occasional threat to a number of clans. Rumors say her group is making a move soon. Her drive to gather more support left a trail. I admit, it was less complicated to track my targets when I was a bounty hunter and not Mandalore the Avenger. Sometimes it was an advantage, but more often my leads would scatter before I arrived. Now that I have a location, I need help getting close enough to see those blasted horns on her helmet. Make no mistake, she's mine when the time comes. Is that clear? If my choice is stopping her or your personal vendetta, I won't hesitate to end this. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. Meet me in the hangar. My stealth craft should get us down to the planet without being spotted. But when the time is right, Hedekol will hear my challenge and see my blade. Admiral Ego's doing the best he can, but with our limited resources, things are tough. We're in position, Mandalore. And for the record, I'm not fond of this plan of yours. I hear you, but I won't risk her bolting if that storm can't hide our fleet. You could be walking into a trap. I'm counting on it. 
We aren't fools, Jakaya. We'll keep our eyes open. See that you do, Mandalore. Good hunting. Well, well, look who it is. I knew I should have packed my spaceship crashing pants. Ras Ordo. Right in the middle of all this, I see. You know me. Hate to disappoint. Load up, everyone. Take off in three. Time to sharpen our blades. Here we go, Runic. Lots of rocks. Big mining venture a long time ago, but nothing since. Probably because of that. Wow, sensors are not pleased. Lots of noise and false echoes. Take your positions. We're going in. The attack on the Spirit of Vengeance, now a base way out here. What changed? A lot of credits. Raids, Clan Harangir's old money coffers, stealing cartel drops, it all adds up. Hedda builds her army with real Mandalorians, but uses Darmanda mercs as blaster fodder. They're perfect for her. No loyalty to anything. Some of them live up to the name, others are just happy to take the credits. Makes sense. I'm betting half their troops don't even know what Darmanda means. Okay, we're close. I know they have a base down here, but I had to back off before I could pinpoint it. Hang on! We never can land easy. Blast! That was a probe droid! Everyone good? We're fine. We need to track it down fast. Wait, give me a sec. Okay, there. Take this data spike. This signal is a little weird, but it should get the droids working for us. Brass, I'm expecting some reinforcements, so keep an eye out. Understood. And for the record, I prefer watching a crash landing over being in a crash landing. Isn't he humorous? Everybody stay off calm starting now. That storm's giving us some cover, but we don't know who's listening. Being that we're up against probe droids, they'll probably have some way to decloak me, but may as well give it a shot.
saying we were going the wrong way, so back up we go. the first time I've made it planet side. Not sure what to expect, so keep your eyes open. I always do. Come on, we need a better view of the area. She's a child of the Emperor. Wondering if she was going to. That storm is cutting down visibility. Hedda picked her hideout well. damaged, but we can't chance it sending an alert. Data spike is online. The droid is sending an all clear. Ras and his weird signal did it. I'm also getting locations for additional droids in the area. Let's track them down.
down. One more left. Conditions out here. They must swap these out regularly. Let's see if we can find where they're coming from. There's a structure up ahead. We're just technicians. You work for Heather Cole? Who? No, Darmanda hired us. Look, we came straight from orbit. No questions asked. Some kind of top secret thing, okay? We're here to check on some droids. Then you have no value. Hold on! Darmanda has another group of techs down here. They're setting up a relay station to cut through all the storm interference. All comms will go through there. That's worth something to you, right? What are you doing? Bask will kill us! Where's the relay station? Wonder, you must be the smart one. Talk. I, I don't know. Not exactly. But here, take this. Maybe there's something that can help in there. So, what happens with me? I need to cover my tracks. Wait, no! Killing unarmed civilians? I'm surprised it gives you pause. Let's just get this back to Ras.
you found anything useful on that device, Raz? I did, despite a few interruptions. Reinforcements are here. Torian, Akavi. Not surprised to see you both here. Mandalore needed the best. Couldn't agree more. She's assembled an impressive team here. A few more blasters to make sure we don't get eaten by some kind of rock monster. You said you found something. We'll all talk later. Yes, some fancy slicing and a bit of math, and I've got a likely location for the relay station. I've gotta say, this would be easier if we used comms, even if they're glitchy. Silence is just slowing us down. We won't have to remain quiet for much longer. When the time is right, it'll be a firestorm. That relay station gives us an advantage on the ground and might put us on Hedda's trail. About that. Maybe let us handle the relay station? I've got an idea about that trail you're looking for. Go on. Well, the data from the device got me thinking about Hedda's base. You know where it is? Not exactly. Here, look at this. I added the relay station data to the patrol routes we got from the droids. See that? I mean, it's a lot to cover, but it's something. This is good. There are only a few places her base could be. We'll need to do this on foot. Wish I had my old hunting strill. Wait, you had a dog? A strill. Oh, they're the best! Rass. Right. Okay, yes. Second team will head to the relay tower, and you two will search for the base. Trudging through the wastes is pointless. We know where to aim our weapons from orbit now. No. Effective, maybe. But that would be seen as cowardice. I have to face her myself, or all this means nothing. My fleet will keep waiting for the right time to strike. Before you head out, take these. A little something I've been working on. Let's you listen in on the bad guys. Might be handy. I'll go prep. Give the signal when you're ready to move. Well, here we are again. Jakaya sends his regards. He said he likes knowing you've got Mandalore's back. I mean, I assume he meant my back too? Has he had any issues since being named Arbiter for the Mandalorian? Not really. I mean, he's very enthusiastic about telling everyone what to do. <laughs> I should have warned Mandalore about that. It's strange. I saw him lead people in battle, under fire, carrying wounded, all of it. But rarely sorting out some twisty political dispute. He's good at it. Well, of course he is. I'm just getting used to the different uniform, you know? What about you? Learn to play the grouty harmonic? Save the galaxy a few more times? I'm constantly trying to be everywhere at once. And today you're here. I get it. I owe you one. Learn anything else while we were gone? Not much. Comms are rough, but you knew that. Maybe we can use that to our advantage. Another thing. We underestimated our enemy's forces. The number of ships we saw coming in was impressive. We stick to the mission. In and out. That may not be our choice. Hedda's forces can cover more space with more guns. There's only so many places to hide down there. We'll find a way. I believe you. I've seen you improvise. Reminds me, I've got more gear to pack if I'm gonna slice a relay station. I'll leave you to it. Akavi. I knew you'd be part of this hunt as soon as your name came up back on Odessan. I appreciate being asked to help in the hunt. Anything I should know? We cannot fail. Hedda wants to be Mandalore and her power grows. Her followers were once true Mandalorians, but they were weak and they fell. Etta is no better than those she leads. She's no match for Shay. Agreed. But we waste time. You have a trail to follow and I have a relay station to find.
I knew you couldn't stay out of this one, Torian. Same goes for you. Getting mixed up in Mandalore's business is becoming a habit. I'll jump at any chance to peek inside Mandalorian politics. You must have a strong stomach. Having you here gives us a fighting chance. Hedda surrounded herself with an army. It won't be easy to get to her. To see it we have to find her first. At least it came back Mandalore around, has the scent. She won't let any distractions keep her from her prey. Distractions could cost her. She must respond to Hetta's attack or risk her reputation. You're right. I just wonder at how quickly she stepped away from being Mandalore to chase Hetta down. Maybe it's nothing. We are here to make sure Shay ends this. We stand with her until she does. Hetta Cole has chosen the wrong enemy. Made this personal for me. The Kadera Banner? Yes. Still don't know why she stole it. Why doesn't matter now. She pays the price for crossing Shay. We have to find her. We will. And we'll finish this one way or another. So many people with so many personal vendettas. I have to wonder how it'll work in the end. reason the map's deciding to be complicated, so we'll see what happens. Whatever mining company was here, they must have left in a hurry. And they left a lot for Hedda to scavenge.
Are those signal amplifiers? Makes sense. Comms are a mess. Adjusting sound. Field Marshal wants a report on the probe droids. Dust must be making them touchy. This is a waste of time. Be patient. Clan Harangir has been very generous. Our place is assured when this war is over. Clan Harangir. I figured we'd see them around here. Like I said before, they're old money. Many clans got rich from plunder during the Mandalorian Wars generations ago. They want those days back and head as the answer. She sees the independence of that time as the purest form of honor. Problem is, mistaking greed for righteousness almost destroyed us. Let's move out. To be fair, the Mandalorians end up destroying themselves for many things across many timelines. We must be on the right track. See those signal amplifiers? The armor looks like Clan Barad. If you don't report in, I have to come out here. That makes your clan look incompetent. I answer to the field marshal, not you! Educate this new recruit, or it's on you. Clear? Yes, Rakan. I will bleed him and his sister. Rakan earned his glory and blood. Don't shame me again in front of him. Grab your gear. We're on watch for the landing area. They mentioned a landing area. Let's take a closer look. Rakan mean anything to you? No. Let's go. That sounds more like an I know more than I'm gonna say.
Got some signal amplifiers over there. You see them? See anything? Ships. Definitely the landing area. Well hidden, walled off. We're not getting in that way. I see some barrage troops. Movement. Darmander patrol. You see our people on your way back? Nothing but blasted heat and animals. Something going on. Your techs didn't report in either. First of all, they don't report to Barad. Second, the comms are a mess. Don't worry about it. The field marshal wants that relay station up and running now. Patrol's done. I'm off the clock. You worthless Minog lovers. Grab your drug, people. We're checking on that relay station. A Varad patrol is headed right for our people. We break calm silence to warn them we risk jeopardizing this whole mission. They can handle themselves. You're right. Let's move on. Let's see if we can find a way into that landing area. Okay, I have spliced into the comms. That should make things easier. You seeing anything bad out there, Akavi? Nothing yet. All quiet. Akavi, look out! Check. I'm up. I'm okay. Get to cover! Watch your flank! I would say they overestimated their ability to take care of themselves. There's more coming! Line them up and take them down! I think we found a way in. A comm tower. Guards.
Cargo reference 011-SOV-2. These artifacts are tagged to be reviewed today. You think it's the Field Marshal's new recruit? We don't ask. What about the new ship acquisitions? Quality vessels. Mostly carriers and long-haul ships being repurposed for her fleet. More on the way. They're a shot. We need to get in there and cut communications so her fleet can't be mobilized. We've been lucky so far. Wasn't really all that important of a side quest, though. Since we got that far, we may as well finish it.
That's why it pays to be a stealth class. I'm not looking forward to that when I'm a combat class. A Jedi? Padawan. My master was murdered. Condolences. Now put that thing down. No. I know you. Your picture was featured in my reports from Elam. It's... Sahar, Padawan Sahar. Malgus slew your master, did he not? How do you... I know who you are. Stay back. Sahar! It's Rakan. Where are you? I need you to bring that holocron back to... Jay. Where's Hedekal? Everybody stand down. We need some information from you, that's all. Tell her to back off. Darth Null's holocron. What did Malgus want with it? Just go! Get out of here! I don't know anything that can help you! You should think of something. Quick. Gone! And she destroyed my tracker! We got nothing! Hartuck! It's only a matter of time before she sounds the alarm and brings an army back here. Come on! We need to ground the whole operation until we locate Hedda. What were you thinking? You're letting your obsession with Hedda destroy you. I didn't ask for your opinion. Let's move out. I didn't ask for your attitude, but you gave it anyway. This has to be the command center. See if you can find out where Head is hiding. I'll scan for any uninvited guests. There's nothing about a location for Hatter's base. But it looks like we control the only communication tower. Then we bring Hedda to me. Blow this place to dust. Cut off comms and send up a flare she can't miss. We're out of options. Let's do it. I'll take out the heat sinks. You get the failsafe. Failsafe offline. That felt good. A little insurance. That should get Hedda's attention. Let's go see what else we can find.
sharp. Hedda isn't stupid. We need to get moving. Over here. Find anything? A few pieces from the Spirit of Vengeance. The Ashad had very specific goals in mind with that attack. I didn't expect someone following the Jedi ways to be fighting for Hedda Cole. What do you think is happening there? How do you get anyone to do something they don't want to do? Blackmail them? Maybe. Doesn't matter much to me as long as she stays out of my way. She's going to be absolutely I'm not finding no anything here. She's Let's move her on. Vendetta. Nothing so far. See if you can find anything on that console. Got your invitation. You must have been eager for my attention. I had only just learned of your encounter with Sahar. Your attempts to question her loyalty failed. There's nothing stronger than family. Mm, you look uncomfortable. At least I know Basque wasn't lying about the power of these sonic weapons. And hey, no hard feelings. I know there's a lot of drama between us, but that's all ancient history. But no Shay, I see. Anything to avoid her duties as Mandalore. No doubt she'll be along soon to face me. She will enjoy ending this. So will I. Such confidence. She wants you to believe this is all for a noble cause. Shay has always been a reluctant Mandalore, choosing to chase me rather than lead. The Mandalorians are scattered and uncertain. They could be an unstoppable force with the right leadership. And that's you? She's arrival was expected, but your involvement is a delicious wrinkle. I assume it was her idea to destroy the tower. Inconvenient. But it did bring us all together. Rikan, if Shay is here, Jekaya Ordo is somewhere close. Launch the fleet. You're different from the usual cannon fodder. I like you. So, do I use US bait or cut your throat? Enough! I challenge you. you could have at least seen that Face me with honor, disruptor. or show your followers what you truly are. Shh. 
Shay. Hera. I accept. The standard trappings are right here and now. Anytime, anywhere. Runak is a dull place. Let's give my people a show. Take her. Bring him. Any problems in transport, it's your head, Darmanda. Should have killed this one when we had the chance. <laughs> no profit in doing that. I'm sure the field marshal has some grand plan. She always does. Huh? Good, looks like our people made it through after all. Challenged Heta to a duel. She's been taken. A duel? Oh, of course. Okay. Listen, you remember that weird droid signal we used earlier? A new one popped up on my scanners. Led me right here. I thought you sent it, but clearly not. Shay was leaving a trail to follow. This is Heta's base. If those two are gonna fight, it's here. And we're in the right place to cause some trouble. Oh, I like the sound of that. I need a little payback after the relay station. Now that was a fight. I got lucky. But Torian and Akavi were in the middle of it. They fought like rat ghouls, but... Both are in bad shape. Sometimes, you must fight your own battles. I'm a Mandalorian. We invented overcoming the odds. Oh, one more thing. I wasn't too busy to notice a giant pillar of flame go up in the distance. Subtle. Comms are down, except for some major jury rigging. The fleet that took off will be running half blind. We can use that, if I can contact Jakaya. First things first. Right. Find Shay, shoot Hedda, and bring this whole place down. A few more of these should be a good start, right? Let's go. Another one ready. Hey, keep an eye out for anything I can rig to send a message to Jakaya.
because I would have overlooked one at the very beginning. <laughs> Hang on, let me check something. Okay, looks like I can get a message out to Jakaya through this, but it's gonna take some time. Down there is a service tunnel into the main area. It kills me, but I have to stay here and do this. Hedda's fleet can't be far away. Find Shay. I'm counting on you. I want to show you something. A weapon. One of the greatest ever created. It's been honed, tested, and delivered to devastating effect. On every one of us. The banner of Clan Kadera. <laughs> Mandalore the Vindicated made us puppets of other powers. When the Kaderas resisted, he branded them traitors. My parents stood with them. For defending Mandalorian honor, they were slaughtered. This banner has been a symbol of shame for decades. A bloody reminder of what happens when you don't obey. Those who would keep us silent are the enemy. Are we not the greatest warriors in the galaxy? <laughs> Are we not worthy of forging our own destiny? Then we must fight. First, by destroying our enemy's greatest weapon, our obedience. Then, by exposing their weakness. Shay Visla, come and face me. Gladly, pretender.
something's wrong. Shay's in trouble. There's a kick to the shebs. What's going on here? I'm just making sure Hedda ends up on top. I got a lot riding on this. It took four of these babies to stop you. So, I figured if I use just one on Shea Vizsla, the odds get much better for me. <laughs> Hedda doesn't know about this, of course. Don't want to step on her precious honor. Shut it off. Wait, wait, wait! Hear me out! If Hedda wins, I get a huge payday! Huge! You let me finish this my way, and Darmanda walks away from Hedda's pointy horns and anything to do with the hidden chain. She loses our support. You understand me? Hey, hey, I'll even sweeten the deal. Darmanda supplies your side a fat discount on weapons, supplies, whatever, for the war. Wow. Hmm. Between you and me, she ain't looking too good. You might as well get something out of this. Walk away. And that is Hedda's fleet arriving. Let me guess. Your fleet? We're out of time. Leave right now and Darmanda drops out of this and backs your side instead. So, what's it gonna be? We have a deal. Destroy the machine once this is finished. You got it. No trace. Darmanda thanks you. Don't cross me. There's no profit in bad deals, right? Time to make some credits.
Brass Ordo. Is that you? Must be my lucky day. Rakan! to kill you. Clearing out. Do not pursue. I repeat, do not pursue. What about Heta's fleet? We used that storm to launch an ambush of our own. It wasn't pretty, but it put them on the run. Mandalore, can you hear me? Jakaya? I'm right here. We're getting you out. Where is she? It is gone. Hartuk! It's not over. We'll find her. You can bet on that.
Just tell him, Ras. What's going on? An old enemy has crawled out of the muck. Rakan. He's the one who singled me out during the fight. I swore I'd kill him the next time I saw him. I'm not getting involved in petty squabbles. Squabbles? Rakan is coming for you next, so you might want to listen up. Brass! Two years ago, Rakan was part of a group helping the imps on Belsavis. They were good. Experienced, skilled, all that. The Republic hired their own team to stop them. Our... Our sister Layla was in charge. There were casualties, for both sides. The imp mission failed, but Rakan escaped. Layla didn't make it. Rakan blamed us, all of Clan Ordo, for his failure. We didn't understand why a mercenary took things so personally. It's clear now. He was part of Hedda Cole's inner circle. He's responsible for losing her best people on Belsavis. He failed her, not just the mission. A shame he lived. He was so close. I had him! You'll get another chance. He can't hide behind Hedda Cole forever. Come. We should see how Mandalore fares. How's she doing? Tough as nails, twice as stubborn. Her wounds were significant, but we arrived in time. We'll give you some space. Catch you later. I'm fine, Jakaya. This new implant will take some getting used to. But I don't need a nursemaid. That's for the best. None would put up with you as a patient, Great Mandalore. All of those battles have loosened your brain, as well as your tongue, wise arbiter. Ah, uh, sorry to interrupt. We got nothing. After Hedda's fleet disengaged, they jumped. Could be anywhere. Did we find anything at the base? Not yet. We'll need some text to go through the systems, but we'll keep looking. Hard proof aside, it's clear that Rakan's sister, Sahar, is working with Hedda. And she has a Sith relic. That can't be good. Malgus wanted it, and now Hedda has it. I need to put her in the ground before this gets any worse. There's more, Mandalore. Rumblings from the clans? Yes. I didn't want to bring it up with you still recovering. Never mind that. What is it? It's more the same. Restless troops griping about rumors. There's some talk. Doubt in your leadership among the clans. All that despite evidence that... I lost the duel. That's the only thing that matters. No! When we discovered that device and what it could do... It was clear Hedda Cole fought without honor. I don't believe she had anything to do with it. She valued her reputation, her version of honor, more than anything. Hedda works with the most ruthless and violent groups around. They only want power. They won't care. That's true for most of the outcasts. But to convince my people to follow her requires more than tricks. Hedda wants to be Mandalore. That can't be bought. What happens now? Some will join the hidden chain. Some will continue to follow me. And what will you do? Continue my hunt. Hedda is blind to her own people using dishonorable tricks to help her. And that will be her undoing. I guess we will see whether that ends up being true or not.
Shea found me sooner than expected. It only proved she's a worthy opponent, but you still beat her. Mandalore the Avenger defeated. I expected more from her. Another legend proves false. Though she did manage to survive. News of your victory is spreading. Much more damaging for her to survive in shame than die in secret. While true, the loss of my base is not without consequences. This puts us a step back. We must prepare for war, even as we retreat. I trust you will see us through. What do you propose? My sister has knowledge of a powerful new weapon. Rakan! What? Am I wrong? You hold the key. That was just between us. You promised to help me. I will. There is nothing more important to me. But this weapon... It's too dangerous. Then people with honor should control it. We both know the cost of being powerless. A weapon? Is this true, Sahar? Yes. Darth Malgus himself has his eye on it. Intriguing. Rikan, make sure no one interrupts us. I don't think that jealousy he's displaying is going to end well for him. Hey there. Always an honor when I can get some time from someone as busy as you. I'm glad we got in touch, cause I got a favor to ask. With Hedda Cole on the run again, it's all hands on deck. That means I've gotta go where Mandalore wants me. Otherwise, I'd handle this myself. My friend Lane is back on Runic. Mandalore's got her chasing down all the hidden chain riffraff that stayed behind. You and I both know that getting anything done on that dust ball is a challenge, and Lane doesn't have a lot of resources. But Lane would never ask for help, especially from someone like you. She's about as stubborn as Mandalore, <laughs> must run in their family. In fact, she'll probably kill me for asking you to back her up, but it's a risk I'm willing to take. So, what do you say? How do you feel about cleaning up some of Hedda's garbage? That's what I'm talking about. One more thing. Last time I was on Lane's bad side, she put adhesive spray in my jetpack's exhaust veins. Took me weeks to get it out. What I'm saying is, it'd be great if you didn't tell Lane it was me who sent you. Anyway, I appreciate you hearing me out on this. See you around. Huh? Look who it is. Shouldn't you be off with Shay, planning her next move against the traitor? Well, you might want to temper your expectations. Shay stuck me with cleanup duty. Thought you might be above that. You're pretty chummy with my cousin. She tell you what I'm doing? Yeah, that's the short of it. The showdown between Shay and Hedda got pretty chaotic. When it was over, 
A lot of the hidden chain dogs ran off after their master. Shay and the Arbiter, mostly the Arbiter, withdrew all of our people from Runic too. Then we got word that some of Hedda's soldiers stuck around. They're not big enough for an army, but there's enough that they could clear the way for Hedda to come back. My job is to keep that from happening. But I don't want to just round up some traitors and be done with it. We've been watching them. They're looking for something. I want to find out what it is. No, we can't. But that's what I want you to look into for me. I've got a couple of places I want you to sweep. Look for schematics, data readouts, anything that can tell me why they came here and why they've stayed. I've got to stay back. I'm working on something that I can't get away from. Once you've got enough information to start putting the pieces together, let me know. Ready for departure. Enjoy your stay.
unfortunately, was my fault for forgetting I didn't have a companion with me. Machine. Hurry up and get those pressure valves working again, damn it! Kerr's waiting on us!
What's the rush, Arla? You've got us tearing up water stations and power conduits left and right. Now you want us to fix them? Shut up! Someone's here! Step forward, whoever you are! <laughs> Shay's pet. What are you doing back here? Get lost on your way home? Oya, elite! Let's bring Kur a trophy he'll never forget. For me, Imperial. I never trusted your kind. I won't die by the hand of Shay Fizzla's lapdog. Several data files are stored in this terminal, including fragments and record of a mining company. Many of the records are corrupted, but from the some fragments can be accessed.
dust is getting into everything. Pack your kit. You're on patrol. That was quick. You certainly live up to your lofty reputation. Shay is lucky to count you among her supporters. I get the feeling you have no problem reminding her. Let's see what you found out there. Looks like the Hidden Chain built their infrastructure on the back of an old mining operation. A really unlucky mining operation. Hedda had everything she could ever need already waiting for her. Water, power generators, but it looks like you took out the last of it. Would have been nice for us. But hey, at least we know the traders can't use it again. Find anything else interesting? I wager the traitors you took all of this from didn't go down quiet. Arla? Archak. At least now we know who drew the short straw when Hedda asked people to stay behind. Sounds like the stragglers are Clan Harangir. At least we're on the same page for that part. But knowing who they are will give us a better idea of what they want. Clan Harangir claims they're descended from Cad Harangir. An old Mandalorian god of destruction. Decades of that kind of notoriety, power, and credits have given them quite the inflated self-image. They consider it an insult if you don't recognize their prestigious history. They consider it a threat if you don't... Must be why they switched sides. Shay didn't kiss their boots like the other clan leaders did. Shay's never been one to coddle such fragile personalities. It was only a matter of time before some of the more... Entitled clans went the way of the hidden chain. It's not like this is the first time her methods of leadership have been questioned, but I still don't understand why Clan Harangir would agree to cleaning up Hedda's mess. They'd think an order like that was below them. No, they must be after something else. There's a particular area they've been circling for a while, full of derillium deposits. Maybe that's where their prize is. You check there, and I'll keep looking through the data files you brought me, see if there's something I'm missing. By the time you come back, I'll have more of this figured out. Hopefully. Alright, and that seems like a good stopping point. We will resume this quest line in the next video. See y'all in the next one.